FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Let me get to uh, Fox News Radio's Jared Halpern. Uh, good enough to give us some time today. Jared, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Hard to believe. We've got all, what, about roughly eight weeks until Election Day? Uh, from today, in fact, yeah. Looks like a barn burner, huh? Uh, well, polls certainly have tightened, um, especially when you look at the national numbers. Hillary Clinton, after the Democratic convention, uh, by some polls, was up you know, 7% nationally. That is certainly down now uh, to within the margin uh, on a bunch of polls nationally. What continues to be, uh, I think, something that, that we're all looking at are the, the, these key swing states, right? Pennsylvania and Ohio and Virginia and Iowa and Florida. Um, and in many of those states, too, it appears that the race is very close, not so much in Pennsylvania. Hillary Clinton, I, I think, is up 6 or 7% there. Virginia, too, is uh, increasingly, uh, I think, moving away from the swing state status. Certainly a running mate from that state uh, would help in that venture. Um, the challenge for Donald Trump that remains is um, winning, for, uh, first of all, winning the states that Romney won, and then obviously what other states uh, are you going to win? Certainly he is eyeing um, Iowa, a state where he is doing well, just finished a campaign rally there, eyeing uh Florida, eyeing Ohio, and eyeing Pennsylvania. Um, you know, he's going to have to do really well in those states, um, in addition to the states that Romney won, to, to, to hit that 270 uh, electoral threshold. So, so Jared, re- refresh my memory. So Romney lost Florida, correct? Yes. But he, he did and he Ohio. win Ohio? He lost Ohio, too. Lost Ohio, yep. So, so if... Lost Iowa, right. lost Pennsylvania... So just actually, I don't think has voted for a Republican since like '88. Yeah, I know. Um, it, I it, know. I know that's been a while. But it's, uh, but but it's one of those states that that Donald Trump believes he his message maybe more so than, than the other Republicans who are in the race will, will really resonate with you know union workers, uh, those blue collar workers. Um, yeah, the, the I guess back in the day called the, the, those Reagan Democrats. Um, that's still a term that, that we can use um, in 2016. Um, so there are states in the Midwest that, that Republicans have not done well in in recent uh, elections that Donald Trump thinks that, that he will compete in. And obviously it remains to be seen, but he is spending time, uh, an awful lot of time in those states. Like I said, he was in Iowa just a few minutes ago, um, gives a uh, policy speech on uh, child care um, in uh, suburban Philadelphia this evening. He will be joined by his daughter, Ivanka. Um, That is definitely going to be a speech that is targeting, uh, in many respects, suburban women who, um, over the last few presidential elections, have have backed the Republican nominee, and polling shows right now are not. Um, And so he is, I think, trying to see areas where there is ground to make up and, and see if you can cut into some of the advantages that Hillary Clinton has. Sure. Yeah, I, I read one pundit claiming that if he didn't win Pennsylvania, it would be almost mathematically impossible for him to, to hit 270 on the um, Electoral you know, College. Other states are going to come into play, but right. it certainly would set up a scenario, I think, where he would have to win Ohio, would have to win North Carolina, would have to win Florida. Uh, he basically has to run the table of all the other, uh, quote-unquote, swing states. Interesting, because he did win. I mean, in the Um, primary. But 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 by the way, by the way, that is often true of the Republican nominee. Sure, sure. And and in the primary, and I didn't look at the breakdown for Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump in a contested primary won every county in Pennsylvania. Is that correct? Did you hear that as well? I don't. I don't know that. You don't know. I. I I would not. I know he did well in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So maybe that's what he's hanging his hat on. I also don't on. remember if Pennsylvania was. I don't remember if Pennsylvania was an open or closed primary. Right. Yeah. I don't either. Um, Jared Halpern of Fox News Radio. Good information. Thanks for your time. Sure thing. Yep. We appreciate it. Uh, always good to have Jared on. And that, that, that interesting take on the way things are going.